Pilot Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the all new Bot Grinder Demi Bot by Uma God. You ain't going to want to miss this. Let's go. All right, Pilot, so here's the deal. Bot Grinder has his signature frame. It is the Bot Grinder or the Bot AFX, and it is an amazing frame. I still have mine. I still fly mine. I did it in this dark green color, so I thought it was fitting that I did the new one in the same color. But Bot Grinder is a beast. He flies bandos in buildings and concrete playgrounds, and he needs frames that can take a beating. So it works out when you really want a frame that can handle something like this, and you go for a bot frame. You just can't go wrong. Well, when the Demi Bot dropped, I really thought like, do I really need another bot frame? Yes, I do. And then my DMs went crazy. Email after email. Drain man, drizzy man, drizzy drain man. DM, hit me up. Make a Demi Bot freestyle frame review. Let us see you build it. Let us see you fly it. The idea here is, is when I cracked this puppy open, I was really blown away. I really, really was. I was like, wow, this is some beautiful, beautiful carbon. Then I thought about showing you guys how to go ahead and build this frame. And I thought, hey, the bot himself went ahead and made that video for you guys already. So I'll go ahead and link that video down in the video description so you can see how to put the frame together. I followed his video and to my surprise, it, went all, it all went together absolutely seamlessly. It was quick, easy, and fun to put together. You have your bottom plate, you've got your arms, you've got your mid plate, couple beefy standoffs, and then your top plate. And that was it. And there was these really cool lock nuts. And then you decide if you're going to run 20 by 20 or you're going to run 30 by 30. I went 20 by 20 because I'm running the Fet Tech ESC with the all new, brand new Fet Tech G4 V1.7 Alpha Firmware Preloaded Flight Controller. Yes, that's right. This is not just a Demi Bot. This is the Alpha Demi Bot. If that's not a thing, it should be. I was going to go ahead and put some bot motors on, and I thought that would just be absolutely amazing, but lately, I've been running the Bosch V2 0.1 motors. These motors are absolutely gorgeous. They are very, very thick in spokes. They're only 17 bucks. They come in all the different flavors you can think of. Absolutely like, hey, I'm going to try these out. Let's see how they do. Well, <laughs> I got about four frames with them now, and I can crash all I want, and I really don't break motors anymore. Do they break, and are they breakable? Absolutely, but they take one hell of a beating, and they have the plastic on the bottom, which I absolutely love, because sometimes my motor screws are just a pinch too high, and I don't have to worry about it hitting my windings. One beautiful thing with the Demibot frame that you don't have to worry about is go ahead and take a look. Can you see any of my motor? Go ahead, point out some of my motor. I'll wait. I didn't think so. And the reason why is because Bot and Umagod have designed this foot here to cover the entire motor. That means any angle, unless I smack like this, of course, which, I mean, if you do that, I mean, good luck. But any angle I come at this, my motor is protected by these beefy, beefy arms. And that is smart. It is fantastic. And a $12 arm versus a 20 something dollar motor. It just makes sense. When you go to build it, there is a square block. And when you grab this block, you're like, damn, this block is heavy. This is a thick man. They should really make the arms this big and this thick. And guess what? <laughs> they did. The arms on this guy are fucked. And then, like, look how everything comes together right here. Look at that. Carbon sandwich. When you go ahead and it's time to mount your battery, you do get the Uma grip, which is always a nice touch. I do like that. You get yourself two Uma God straps. They are the green exclamation point 
color deal that Umagod does, but I do need 3D printing, and although you get a camera mount that is 3D printed, which I'm normally not a fan of, but I will tell you, they did a good job on this. There is no play, no movement at all with a 3D printed camera mount that comes with this Demibot. So I do need the rest of my 3D prints. What am I gonna use? What am I gonna fly? What, what am I gonna do here? So I jumped online and fortunately enough, they did list prints. I was able to get my Hero 8, which I know, I'm a little old school, but also we need to mount our antenna somehow. It does not come with a way to do that, so you will need 3D prints, or you can use some zip ties and make it happen. We, we've done it before, but my point here is, is I was able to find the entire 3D printable kit. I downloaded it, threw it on the printer, and everything was phenomenal. And one of my favorites are these little feet covers right here. See that? So I believe that they were originally designed to be mounted from the bottom, but the holes where the screws go were a little bit bigger, so your screws just fell right through. That means that you're not getting any holding point from your screws to the 3D print to hold it onto your arm. So you'll need another way to hold that on. And they do kind of clip on, but I don't know if it was designed that way. So I went ahead and flipped mine upside down, took double advantage. Now, not only am I soft mounted, they're not gonna go anywhere. But now my motor screws are gonna be vulnerable. They're gonna be touching every time I land, if I perch, if I land, if I take off, if I slide, come in and hot and just slide a little bit, I'm gonna be tearing up my motor screws that hold on my motors, and that's not good. So I went ahead and grabbed me some slides. These are the uh, my, my FPV slides. These things are fantastic. I'll put a link for them down in the video description. They're like two or three bucks. They come in a million gazillion colors, and I put them on every freaking build. With the Bosch motors, the wires are very thick, and they're a cool silver color, which I do like that the gunmetal color of the motor looks good with the green, but the motor wires themselves are a thick motor wire. They're not your normal little thin ones that aren't passing enough voltage and amperage and what you need through them. These guys are beefy, and they're getting the job done. My thing about it is, is... If you wanted to, I went ahead and used the felt tape, but if you wanted to, you have space on these arms to fit race wire, LED race wire, the plastic little containers that hold them. You can run a snake skin. You could do whatever you want because you've got plenty of space on these arms. These arms are nice and thick. They're nice and wide. In the back here, you can mount your VTX and you have plenty and plenty and plenty of options. You've got mounting holes all around here. You use whatever works for you. I ran a Vista, so I hit caddy corner and I was good to go. I know you're digging these props and I know they match well. They really, really do. These are the 5143.3 Gem Fans and they are a clear green, <laughs> but they just look so good. <laughs> I'm going to buy probably like 10 pairs and that's all I'm going to run with this because it just looks so good. And that is pretty much where I'm at. This frame is absolutely gorgeous. It really freaking is. You get lock nuts where you lock everything together. And my personal opinion, which probably ain't worth much when it comes to frames, is they should have given us four more. Well, actually, they give you one spare. So they should have given us three more and then four more screws that are the height of this carbon right here. What that would have done was allowed me to pin down these other four holes. I mean, the holes are there. Why not? I mean, this thing is strong and beefy and heavy, and uh, from what I'm hearing, nobody's breaking any arms or anything, but why not? You get some of these recessed washer nut dealios, and they're absolutely awesome. If you're not running any 3D print, they look really, really cool because the contoured screws sit in them, and they just look really good. They really do. But if you're running a 3D print and you're running a GoPro mount like I am, you can sandwich them in there, see that? And then they act as a washer and you get that much more 
circumference that is holding down your mount rather than just a skinny screw and when you lock it down hard the first time you hit that mount it comes ripping off and then now your hole stretched out and then you need a big washer and then it looks stupid you don't have any of that because you can use these guys right here to make sure that you're pinned good and everything is nice and tight so so far I've taken it for a little spin in the back and played around a little bit got a little dirt on it and this thing is fantastic between the fat tech and the alpha and all right here we go oh wow wow that feels good hear those motors The frame has zero resonance. It all is just built well and looks good and feels good. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope that you guys will go get your own Demi-Bot. I'll put a link for you down in the video description. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Woo!